previously on Journey to Modern Marketing. Modern Mark used the power of modern marketing to target the right customers and engage them with compelling content and context to drive more sales. He used powerful analytics and comprehensive reports to show everyone exactly how marketing helped generate a big boost in revenue. Mark and his team had become successful modern marketers, but little did they know, some of their greatest challenges still lay ahead. And now, Episode 6. Modern Mark and his team had been so successful that their company was acquired. They were now a wholly owned subsidiary of Megacorp, who, as their tagline said, made everything for everyone forever, which meant good news and bad news for Mark. The good news was that Mark had been given the go-ahead to use the power of modern marketing for all of Megacorp's marketing. He would also have the help of Melanie L, who, as part of the Promising Protégé program, was assigned to help Mark and learn all she could from him. The bad news was that Megacorp marketing was a pretty big mess. So much so that Mark's new boss, who no one had actually seen in person, recently sent out a mandate that marketing needed to, quote, open the window of opportunity, take it to the next level, and really move the needle. And surprisingly, Mark understood what he meant. Everyone in marketing was doing their own thing, trying their best to drive sales for hundreds of products ranging from electronics and appliances to office supplies and furniture. But their efforts were about as coordinated as a group of roller skating baby giraffes. So Mark explained to Melanie that the first order of business would be to implement a highly orchestrated cross-channel marketing effort. But aren't we already reaching people via mobile, social, email, and web? Melanie asked. Mark agreed, but explained that true cross-channel marketing is much more than that. Melanie took a selfie of her skeptical look. So Mark used an example to help clarify. He asked her to imagine that Archie was a customer of theirs, who came to their website looking for headphones, which currently triggered a series of automated marketing actions. First, Archie began seeing display ads everywhere for Megacorp TVs. Then he received a 3,000-page Megacorp Mega Catalog in the mail. And worst of all, he got multiple emails touting the power of Megacorp hair dryers, which, as a follically challenged individual, he clearly didn't need. Obviously, Mark explained, this type of automated but unstructured marketing was about as effective as following Archie around with a bullhorn shouting, buy stuff. Mark went on to explain that with the Oracle Marketing Cloud, things would be different. They could coordinate their efforts across all channels and stages in the buying cycle. From original content to relevant nurture campaigns, Archie gets the information he wants, how he wants it, and when he wants it. That way, we're starting a conversation and building a relationship with folks like Archie, who over time become loyal, ideal customers, purchase often, and become our brand advocates. And that's what effective cross-channel marketing is really all about. Melanie thought that sounded great, but wondered out loud where all that content came from. 